So I've gotten several questions from people about Windows 10 Preview and trying to install this into VirtualBox. And I always get the same question, hey, I'm getting this error code 5D. Why is that? And basically this happens when you're trying to install off of the disk from the ISO file that you downloaded. Now remember, this is Windows 10 Preview. And as of the recording of this video, VirtualBox doesn't know what Windows 10 is. So there's two things we need to do. One, you need to make sure you're running the latest version of VirtualBox. And two, you want to reconfigure your virtual machine with the proper settings. So this particular virtual machine is called Win10 Beta. That's just what I called it. And you see the error. So I've emulated the problem. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to check out your version. If you go to help and go to about VirtualBox, you could see your version at the bottom here. You want to be running version 4.3 or higher. If you're running anything less than 4.3, then VirtualBox won't be able to recognize the software properly. In fact, anything prior to version 4.3 doesn't even recognize Windows 8.1. So you definitely want to upgrade the software. And when you do so, you'll see some more options when you create the virtual machine. Now, if we close out of this and I'll just save the machine state for this guy. And you'll see a list of uh, virtual box VMs I have here. Here's my windows 10 virtual machine that does work. We'll go to the settings for that guy. And you'll see here, the version I selected is Windows 8.1, 64-bit. Any VirtualBox software running less than version 4.3, they won't recognize 8.1. They'll only go up to 8, perhaps. So you've got to update the software, and then you want to select 8.1. And, of course, you decide whether you're doing a 64 or a 32-bit. You're most likely doing 64-bit. That's your main setting there that you want to change. Make sure you're running Windows 8.164 bit. But there's more if we go to the system section here and we look down at the motherboard chipset, we want to make sure we're using ICH9 as the chipset. And you also want to enable IO APIC. In addition, if we go to the processor, we want to enable PAE. And X. And by default, it sets you to one CPU. You can change it to four CPUs if you're running a quad core or something like that. And finally, we go to acceleration and we want to enable both of these. So that's what you want to do. You want to go to motherboard, change it to ICH9, change the chipset to ICH9, enable IO APIC, and then the processor, enable PAE and X. And in acceleration, ex enable both of these. But the most important configuration is change it to Windows 8.1. And you actually have to set this when you create the virtual machine. So definitely Windows 8.1 is the one you want to select. Later on, with newer versions of VirtualBox, you'll see Windows 10. But for now, as of the recording of this video, uh, just to help out some of my readers and everything, you want to select Windows 8.1 because that's the closest version. And of course, versions are very interesting. Um, I'm showing a, a screenshot of a Windows 10 system that actually runs in virtual in virtual box. And you can see the version, if we type VER in the command prompt, is version 6.4. That's right. Windows 10 is version 6.4. Well, this has been going on for ages. The original version 6 was Windows Vista. Then you had Windows 7 was 6.1, and then you had Windows 8 was the next version, next version. So Windows 10 is actually 6.4. Is it all that much different architecturally than Windows 8.1? Well, not according to this, because it's only a point release different. It's not an actual version number different. So, you know, the closest operating system is the one you want to select in this case. So you're trying to install Windows 10. The one we had available to select was Windows 8.1. And this has happened before with VirtualBox. When pre-releases for Windows 8 came out, you would select the latest version of Windows 7. When pre-releases for Windows 7 came out, you, you selected the latest version of Windows Vista. So that's how it would work when you do this within VirtualBox. Select, first of all, update the software to the latest version. 
update that virtual box software and then configure it to select for the virtual machine, configure it to select the latest operating system that it can, and then make those additional modifications to the processor and the system. 